just when you think you've seen every kind of fraud imaginable, here's one that is very creative. Here's a car salesman. And no, he didn't steal money from customers. He didn't take people's deposits. He didn't sell bad cars. What he did was he issued employee discounts to buyers so buyers could get the cars cheaper and he would sell more cars and get more commissions. Um, this salesperson was giving out deals that were too good to be true because he was illegally using employee discounts, allegedly, to give customers good deals, even when those customers failed to qualify for the discount. So most manufacturers, uh, Chrysler included, Fiat Chrysler is the one here, um, have an employee discount program. If you are work for the factory, you work for the, the company that manufactures the cars, or if you're a relative, certain relatives are allowed to use this discount, you get a discount off the car from the, fa from the manufacturer. It's not the dealer that's taking it off the price. The factory will pay the dealer some money for this um, employee or their relatives. So what he would do is he would get these discount codes from Facebook groups that he was a part of. As an employee of a dealership, he was on Facebook groups for factory employees. And what he would do is he would tell the buyer to say that they're the brother-in-law or sister-in-law of an employee and use the discount code as an employee purchase control number. They were bought and sold through Facebook groups. This salesperson, his name was Nemo, topped the list of auto sellers who sold cars and was handsomely rewarded for top salesman. He received $700,000 in bonuses since 2014, plus the commissions, right? And that's in addition to dealership bonuses. That's just from Chrysler. One of the things that was a red flag is he sold about 250 cars in January of 2020. Now, put that in perspective. There's some dealerships that don't sell car, that many cars in a month. A whole dealership, and he's one salesperson that did. And it says that here, he sells more vehicles than entire sales departments at most Chrysler dealerships. Most high-volume dealerships sell two or 300 cars a month, and he sold that many as an individual. How to get away with it? He told the buyers that Fiat Chrysler would not review in-law relationships because you can't really prove it because it's not the same name. It could be somebody different. And it's not intuitive to identify relationships who don't share blood or direct legal ties. But what happened is several employees complained that their discount codes are being used. So if you're an employee, you get a notice when your code is being used. When they got the notice, they said, I didn't buy a car. I didn't have a relative buy a car. So they complained. Well, that's another interesting part of the story. This number of people that they found, 268 people that bought cars, were only from people who complained. There's probably many more that didn't. So this is an interesting scam, and it just shows you the level of creativity that scammers can use and how it might affect a buyer, a seller, a factory. Even the dealership will probably have to pay back some of the bonuses they got from selling these cars because they didn't do the proper due diligence on all their sales.